<clears throat> thank you. Uh, Jared Grafoni, uh, 141 Leland. Uh, thank you, counselors. Um, I'm concerned with Common Core and how it's going to impact, how it is impacting and harming our uh, community's children as well as our community schools. And I take to heart the concerns of some individuals who felt that this particular issue may not be appropriate for this board to, to, uh, to debate. So I went ahead and did a little bit of research. I emailed uh, some of that to you uh, last week to make sure you were aware of the following. Back in 2006, the City Council voted 7-0 to on a resolution urging the Collier County School Board to uh, take action on a budget item for the Marco Island Charter Middle School. In 2003, the council voted 7-0 to on a resolution urging the Collier County School Board to support and approve some facilities for Marco Island Charter Middle School. Uh, they also said in that particular resolution that the Charter Middle School provides, strives to provide the student body with a challenging, stimulating curriculum. Those values and actions are at risk today because of Common Core and high-stakes testing. Uh, it's in the past, when the City Council was faced with an issue that dealt with our schools, deficiencies within the community, uh, they felt it was appropriate to take a position and to urge the County School Board to take action. And I think that's the historical precedent that Councillor Hanning was referring earlier on another item. And I hope that the Council uh, has as much concern with the hearts and minds uh, within the school as the brick and mortar of the school is itself. Now it's true that this resolution is slightly different uh, than ones referenced in the past. It's a little bit uh, more complicated simply because the issue, Common Core and High Stakes Testing, is uh, related to local control is, is a bit more complicated. There's a lot of aspects there. But I believe this resolution was drafted with that in mind and designed to offer as much clarity on the issue as possible. The resolution simply, it's a request. It's a request by the City Council to the school board, legislature, and governor to take action on Common Core, to do, to do something, to take a look at it. Um, a request that the Collier County School Board do the same thing to the legislator and governor. Make a request. <clears throat> excuse me. Make a request. When a request that the legislator and governor return local control back to our community, per the Florida Constitution, Article 9, Section 4B, on local school boards. So, in order to restore, uh, to restore that home rule to school matters, we have to remove the items in the way, the items that are blocking it. That's Common Core high stakes testing. In 2013, the board actually approved a resolution. I was in front of you, spoke in favor of it uh, regarding the Second Amendment, dealt with urging other boards, the, in fact, the federal government, the governor, the legislator to take action and to protect us on the Second Amendment protections. So this is something that's been done before. But I think what we're presenting is exactly what you, what you want, and that simply is to bring home rule and education back to Marco Island, back to Collier County. Um, I don't know any of your personal histories or most of your personal histories, but I'm sure you all have uh, children or grandchildren, uh, nep nephews, nieces, friends, relatives with children. Maybe they didn't go to Marco Island schools. Maybe they don't live in Collier County. Uh, but a lot of us either have children or no children who every day are, have to deal with uh, this program. So I urge you to show a united front, just like councils uh, prior to this, on the issue of education. Uh, the school board will be reviewing this issue at the February 10th meeting under their legislative platform. We're extremely excited and uh, grateful for that opportunity to do so. Uh, the Collier County Commissioners have this item on their agenda tomorrow morning. We'll be there talking to them just like we're talking to you today. So you have the unique opportunity to put this community first, to take a stand, to be the number one ahead of everyone else, to show that you are opposed to Common Core and that you want our elected officials to take action. Uh, Jefferson wrote, if it's believed that elementary schools will be better managed by the governor and council, the commissioners of the literary fund, or any other general authority of the government than by the parents within each ward, it is a belief against all experience. So as a resident of Marco Island, I ask you to take action on this item, to stand with your constituents, parents, and children of this community, and vote in favor of the resolution tonight. Thank you. Thank you.